Welcome to day three, round five of the 2012 Chess Club Invitational. We're starting to see some players be mathematically eliminated from being able to achieve their GM and IM norms. Today, we're going to look at two games from the IM section of this tournament. Levan Bergazzi only had kind words for his opponent, Duck Eckerd, after their game was over. Bergazzi remained in the lead here in his section. I have to say that my opponent uh, was having a good tournament and he played really well the last tournament, I mean Thanksgiving Open, so uh, I was half point up and maybe draw was also good for me, so I played kind of um, defensive, so this is really hard to hold uh, with white. So. And the, another mistake I think was rook e2 because he has to maintain two rooks on the board to to keep chances to draw and I don't think rook e2 was a good move because then I have really easy play just take the rook a4 and push the pawn. So what happened in the game is that I mean this is all forced and I missed the stalemate idea here like after g6 I thought I was winning easily like g takes f5 g takes f5 king h4 king b3 rook a1 and a2 king h5 rook and rook a6 I thought he was winning but then I found a stalemate idea like h4 king b2 rook takes a2 king takes a2 and e6 uh, I think this position, I thought this position was draw. I haven't analyzed yet this with the engine, but I didn't really like this this uh, ending. So I also missed a good move, rook a4 here. And then king h5, rook takes f4, king takes h6, um, rook e4, king g5, rook e5. And probably this is winning for black. So in the game, a2, king h5, king b2, king a2, king g6, and this is, this is won. So it was a tough game, and I'm really happy that I won. After five, Tommy Ulrich is still able to clinch a norm, while FM's Kavutsky and Homa have it a little bit tougher. They must win every game from here on out. Indeed, Seth Homa did take some risks that did not pay off today in his loss to Anna Sharevich. I really, really had to win, I thought, in this round and my next round to have a chance at an IM norm. So I was pretty much taking a risk by going into a position I didn't feel really comfortable in, but you have to go for broke sometimes. Not what, want, well, not what you want to have to calculate when you're low on time. So I played Queen B3, pinning the knight, sort of threatening B7. Maybe, so now if I take on e4, it's queen g6 isn't a pin, but she simply plays king h8. And I don't think I can take that pawn. I take c4, whoops, queen g6 is a move. Knight d2, knight g3 does this to the knight takes c3, queen takes c3, rook a e8. Knight g2. Queen g2, rook f1, after simply rook a e8, he has really, really strong pressure here. I can't really cast a queen side, I don't think, because after f2 goes, e3 is also really weak. So at this point, I was getting really short of time. I now had, after this move, I had 13 minutes to make 20 moves. So I thought the safest continuation was taking on d5. At this point, I'm forfeiting all hopes for an advantage. I'm just trying to survive until move 40. Darwin Yang made a mistake today in the GM section against Vitaly Niemer, allowing the game to be drawn, and Niemer sitting at the top very happy with four points. Rounds are 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. every day through Friday. Watch the games live at stlouischessclub.org.